So just how successful was David Cameron's whistle-stop tour? Let's get some analysis with Professor Fredman Malik, who specialises in management and finance and was actually asked by the Greek government to help change their policies through Greece's financial crisis. He joins us from St. Gallen in Switzerland. Professor Malik, thank you very much for your time. Uh, David Cameron's saying that where there is a will, there is a way. Is he right? Well, I hope so, but uh, I think it is safe to say that we... Uh, we will be, we will see a very long, uh, lengthy period of negotiations uh, with an uncertain outcome, if any. It is uh, as it always was, dragging along. And I think uh, one should have learned uh, by now uh, the lesson that the old ways of protocol, the old ways of the procedures one uses for uh, trying to arrive at the consensus are have become obsolete and are bound to fail. Not because these uh, people, the leaders of the European uh, member states, are incompetent, as uh, some people uh, try to convince us. No, it is because the uh, problems, the situation, have become so complex that the old ways still uh, simply do no longer work. Do you now, new? I was yes. just going to say, do you honestly think that you can get consensus if you've got people like the Polish Prime Minister Ewa Kopacz saying that, say, Poland's red line is treaty change and yet David Cameron's whole trip was based around getting s support for treaty change? If you've got so many fundamental differences, can you get consensus? Yes, that's exactly the point I want to, uh, want to, to like to make uh, because we have 28 member uh, states and they are so different and uh, collusion of interests uh, almost impossible uh, to align uh, from the private sector i have the experience uh, from a couple of decades how difficult it is to reach uh, decisions among members of a board for instance although they have a common goal they have shared goals and still it is so difficult professor so, malik think, Professor Malik, absolute apologies for interrupting. Fascinating to hear your analysis of what is going on in, in the EU. But for the time being, we have to leave it there. Professor Fredmund Malik from the Malik Institute.